The world has seen countless murders. But one killing stands above all others. One death that has shaped the world. Malekith, son of Enerion, was betrayed. The elven princes crowned Belshanar as the second Phoenix King. So Malekith brooded and poured his hate into a single cup. Malekith toasted Belshanar, then stepped over his dying body and into the sacred flame of kings. But the fire stripped his flesh, and with a final scream, he hurled himself back from whence he came. His body was taken north and a suit of armor forged. Malekith was reborn. The Witch King. And in his shadow, legions raised. Decades of civil war followed. Then Malekith embarked on the most ruthless of plans. His sorcerers would unbind the magic of the Great Vortex. Created by Kalidor Dragon Tamer and his elven mages, the Vortex siphons the winds of magic, keeping the demon tide at bay. Malekith's spell was flung at the Vortex, but Kalidor himself broke through the mists of time to deflect the titanic force back at its casters. The Shadowlands were ravaged, sundered. You live. You die. You live. You die. Servants, you amuse me. The dragon with two tails hangs in the sky, and you indulge in petty games. You summoned me, your highness. You bring this witch here. She is well versed in law and prophecies. She will betray you, my son as all have done. She is indebted to me. I have her soul. Step forward, Felician the Heart Keeper. The Comet disrupts the Vortex. Whilst it is weak, a prophecy can be fulfilled. Of a king who consumes the heart of Alfwan. My son will take its power and our vengeance. Find the Oracle. She knows what to do. I am willing to serve to earn my soul's release. Since the days of creation, the reptiles have dominated the jungle continent of Lustria. The ignorant call the creatures lizard men. The wise know them as defenders of the world. <laughs> In ages past, the Old Ones had a plan. But then the Stellar Gates collapsed, the Old Ones fled, and demons flooded the mortal plane. Led by the Slan, the Lizard Men fought the demons that surged across Lustria. Yet, it was the Elves that created the Great Vortex. Maelstrom that siphoned the world of chaos. 
withering demon kind. The world was saved, but the vortex endures only because it is bolstered by the power of the slan via the great warding. If the warding should fail, the demons will return. The forked tongue of Sotek hangs low in the sky. The slam have felt it. Now I see it brighter, clearer. Its hiss disturbs the winds of magic. Redmen. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins, for such is the will of their god, the great horned rat. Only the island home of the High Elves has remained unscathed. And at its center is the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world. The Skaven covered its vast power with envious, beady red eyes. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen. But this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. In the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of Thirteen has gathered. A time to scheme of opportunity. I kill dwarf things in Pillar City. No, no! Cadmores go to Southlands. Hunt for Wolfstone. Moors are puppet minion. Pestilence infest Lustria. Yes, yes. But all Wolfstone for Council Plan. Come, scribe slave. Work to do. Comet makes elf things weak. Council wants power. The vortex. <laughs> Just as prophecy demands. <laughs> so it true. You read markings on the black pillar. Then you know we must seek find the screaming one. 
find out how to control the Vortex. Oh, oh yes, Master. But, but a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if, if we summon him. <laughs> Return to your assigned clan. Harvest warp stone. Yes, most precipitous of masters. And flee yourself, your impertinence. Oh, it will be done, your worship. the Asur, an enigma to men and dwarfs who know them as High Elves. At the center of the great ocean lies Althuan, a paradise created by the Old Ones. But when the Stellar Gates collapsed, demons flooded the mortal plane. All was lost until Anarion the Defender strode forth. The first Phoenix King vanquished the demons. With the aid of the Archmage, Kalador Dragon Tamer. It was Kalador and his Elven Mages who created the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphoned the excess magic, withering demonkind. With the world purged of chaos, the elves took it upon themselves to become guardians and stewards. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen. But this time, its wake brought great peril. The dragon with two tails flies lower than before. Its trail disturbs the vortex. I have felt a change in the winds of magic. Then write it, brother. Lead the mages of Safari. Bring all in the White Tower to bear if you must. Such lore is currently beyond us. I suggest a scrying ritual in the Pool of Isha. It may provide us with the answer. Such a ritual requires fragments of fallen waystones. Far more than we have. Then we find more. Make ready your ritual, Lord Master Talarian. You will have your fragments. I shall start the search in Lustria. Lustria? My brother will search here, in Althuan. Why do you care so much about the greater world? Why do you not? Stay here, brother. Protect Althuan. But I venture beyond our borders. And while you meddle in far-flung continents, I will ensure you have a home to return to. <laughs> <laughs>